Hey, Shalom, Mark, and Mr. Rakama, Kapash, and Jimmy Slonin, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kwadash. I want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS and Shalom out there to the hopeful that's pushing his truth and all sincerity. Back in another video. Uh, this I'm going to get into, um, you know, these Edomites that, are, you know, are trying to worm their way out of judgment. Begging them not to, um, you know, be blamed for, you know, the transgressions of their people, the so-called white race. Okay, and all the evil and the wickedness that they've done to our, pe to our people. You know, they don't think they're at fault. You know, this... Uh, New generation Alright but there's something I wanted to bring To the attention Of you Edomites Okay in terms of judgment When the Lord The Most High Yahweh Brings judgment You know How he deals with things Okay when it, com when it comes down to his people Okay the Israelites You are you Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans And the descendants that are scattered abroad man, Our people Right, we're going to see how the Lord deals with the other nations when he delivers his people, right? So we're going to go back to Egypt, right? <laughs> Even though we're in Egypt today, Egypt today spiritually, right? We're going to go back in time, right? And we see how the, how the Lord deal, dealt with the Egyptians, man. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, it wasn't all Egyptians. Not every Egyptian had a, had a Hebrew Israelite slave and was whipping them and, you know, was, um, you know... Making them, you know, proverbs and bywords, you know, reproach them. I'm sure it wasn't all Egyptians, but everybody got dealt with. When the Lord brought judgment to the land of Egypt, everybody got dealt with. Right? When the Lord killed all the firstborn of Egypt, man, they said there was not one house where there was not one dead. Right? The Lord brought judgment against all of Egypt. Every last single person in Egypt got judged. A vengeance was dealt. Right? And you know it goes back, and, we, and you know we're gonna read it in this in this um, passage here, right from Wisdom of Solomon chapter eighteen, right. So you know you either might not gonna escape judgment, man, just because you believe you weren't because you weren't around at that time. That was your great 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 granddaddy or or whatever, and he you know he burned in hell now or something. You know you think you're exempt. You don't think judgment should come to you, even though you've benefited of all the evil and wickedness that your people have done. Well. News flash or news for you, right? You're not gonna get away, right? And then, no matter how how much vocab you know, plead your cause, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna get this from Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18. I'm gonna start from verse four here, all right? And this is talking about the Egyptians, okay? It says for they were worthy to be deprived of light and imprisoned in darkness, right? And Lord made it where you know there was no light in the land of Egypt except for only where the Israelites were, right? And, a deep darkness that came over the, over the over the land of Egypt. All right, to the um, who had kept their, their sons shut up, okay, kept them in servitude, kept them prisoners, much like how we're prisoners today under Esau's system. Okay, we're here serving his system, man, with, with no real way out. Okay, we live to serve this kingdom, man. That's how that's how we're raised in this world, man. We, you know, for us to get ahead, we have to go all in Esau's kingdom and do whatever it takes to. You know, get your careers and all, all, all that shit going to get your accolades and your recognition. You gotta go all the balls in in Esau's kingdom, man. Why? At, at the same time, he ain't doing nothing but exploiting your abilities, man. Okay, and, and siphoning all the all the all the profit and benefit from you, man. You know, and leaving you with, with, with you know the minimal of what you're really worth. All right. It says um, and when they had determined to slay the babes of the saints. Okay, and that goes at the, back to the beginning of Exodus. Yeah, the Pharaoh came in and was, you know, would tend the the, the Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew uh, midwives to to slay the, the the boy babes, right? Because they were they were worried or scared, you know, because we were growing in large in number that we would rebel and join unto their enemies, right? So he put out the commandment that, you know, the babies should be put to death, right? And Again, in the land of Egypt today, i.e. America, you know, beginning with the land of America, right? Okay, you're putting our babies to death now through all the abortion clinics and, and whatever. you got all that set up for, for these women to go and, and get, you know, these children aborted, man, murdered. Right, same thing was going on in Egypt, man. And, and you know, you women don't think you're to, to, to blame or to, um, you know, like there's no repercussions for your actions, man. Okay, and that's, that's you Hebrew is like women, man. Right? 
yeah, these are these these are these people are the devil that set up all these clinics. You know, these so-called white people, right? They set up all the clinics, but you are complicit in the act of this murder, man. Okay, so you women, you're gonna get a heavy judgment too, man. All right. Anyway, says, uh, and when they uh, and when they were, had determined to slay the babes of the saints, one child being cast forth and saved to reprove them, i.e., Moses, right? They took us away the multitude of their children and and destroys them all together in a mighty water. Right? So everything the Lord did to the Egyptians was just based on you know the intent that you know the rulers of Egypt, you know, were were you know to do to, to the uh, nation of Israel. Right? You wanted that people to destroy, well the Lord destroyed you. Just the thought of wanting to destroy us, man, you know, is enough for the Lord to destroy you. Not not like <laughs> Oh, I thought about destroying you. You know, the Lord, it was enough for the Lord to go out and to destroy you, man. To kill your firstborns. Okay, to drown you in the in the in the in the Red Sea, in the Gulf of Suez, to, to do all of that to you. It was justifiable to the Lord, man, because that's his children. Right? The same way it's gonna be justifiable in this time when it happens. Okay, everything that's gonna happen to you, Edomites, you so-called white people, man, is gonna be justified based on everything that you fought, fought and everything that you've done unto us. Okay, and the Lord's going to repay you many fold, man. Your judgment is going to be great. All right, it says, Of that night, where our fathers certified afore, that surely knowing unto what oaths they had given credence, the name of afterwards be of good cheer. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemies. And that's like what our people don't understand as well. Our people, right? You Israelites out there, man. Right? Or the simpletons, the ones that are not in this tree, man, the simple ones. Like, oh, I don't want, you know, can't we save Esau too? No, F Esau, man. Right, we're meant to understand that the Lord has come to save us, man, and he's going to destroy our enemies. That's how it gets down, <laughs> right? So, so, of thy people was accepted. You're supposed to accept this, right? Both the salvation of the righteous, i.e. the Israelites, God's people, God's children, and the destruction of the enemies. We accept that wholeheartedly. <laughs> you know, the destruction of our enemies and the salvation of the elect. Right, because the Lord ain't gonna come and save all of Israel this time around, because a lot of you Jake won't repent. All right. Yeah, it's <clears throat> lucky about that. <coughs> <coughs> all right, let's carry on. All right, so verse eight. This is for where wherewith did that this that punished our adversaries? Let me read that again. So for wherewith thou this punish did. This punish our adversaries. I said it wrong again. Adversaries, right? By the same thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. Right? And and that's exactly how it's gonna go down this time around as well. At the same time, our enemies are gonna be getting their judgment and their destruction. And then at the very same moment, the elect are gonna be glorified. Okay, the Israelites are gonna be glorified. Okay, Yahweh Shai is gonna come with the, the with the angels. Okay, they're going to be delivered from the earth while America is getting destroyed, and all the wicked therein are going to, you know, are getting burnt up. Okay, so destruction and glorification all at the same time, you know. But the glory is for us. The glory is for us to receive. It ain't for the for the heathens, the other nations, our enemies. Our enemies are not going to receive the glory. No, they're going to receive judgment and destruction. All right. This is um. Well, yeah, here we go, right? Can scripture say about those that have been called, right? All the Israelites have been called, right? It says, whom, let me read this again. It says, for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the, se by the same thou didst glorify us, whom thou hast called. We have been called out of the world, right? Israel, right? For the righteous children, Israel, of good men did sacrifice secretly and with one consent, made a holy law that the saints should be like partakers of the same good and evil, the fathers now singing out the songs of praise. But on the other side, right, sounded an ill according cry of the enemies. Right, our enemies are going to be lamenting, okay, when all this judgment is going on. Okay, the elect of Israel, they're going to be cool. Okay, they'll be fine. The Lord's going to take care of them and deliver them. But our enemies, man, they're going to be lamenting. All right? This is a, an ill according cry of the enemies and a lamentable noise was carried abroad for children that were bewailed. Right? 
with the destruction and the death that was going on, right? The master, right? So, okay, you got a bunch of Edomites out there that like to blame the elites for everything. You got those that like to blame um, their forefathers for for the for the ill treatment of the you know the so-called blacks and and all this business. So you got people just blaming everybody else, right? Like they're not implicated, they're not related, they're not you know they're not benefited of you know their actions and and, and whatnot, right? You got people that believe that, <laughs> right? But here, this is how the Lord dealt with this. So I said the master, that's your rulers, your kings, your your elites. Right, you're rich, whoever. Right, the master and the servant were punished after one manner. You were treated the same. <laughs> right, you were treated equally <laughs> in this respect. Okay, you are clumped in with your with, with the rest of your nation. It's, it's really as simple as that, man. There ain't no, oh, I'm a, you know, I I ain't responsible for this, or I ain't got nothing to pay. You all got shit to pay. Right, and on, on a deeper level, you know, you are your fathers, man. So you're here, you know, back ready to, to receive your punishment for what you did in the past, in your past lives. Right, so, yeah, there's no getting away from it. The Lord going to judge whole nations together after one manner. The servant, or the master and the servant. Okay, whether you're, what, what, you know, whether you're a little pauper in this world, man, you're a two-time Edomite loser in this world, guy on the street, don't matter. Okay, you're all getting judged as a people because of, because, of, because of the oppression, man, and the things that you've done unto us. Okay, you're all going to pay after one manner, right? So the master and the servant were punished after one manner, and like as the king, so suffered the common person. But what did they do? They were just common people. They, they were being ruled over too. They were slaves too, right? <laughs> you know, it's a funny, man. Yeah, yeah, your own people got you in slavery right now, it's true. <laughs> but it doesn't absolve you, man. <laughs> it doesn't mean, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're not a part of this judgment. So what if you're a common person? You're just a worker. So what? The Lord didn't care. He didn't care then. He ain't going to care now. All right? You're all in... <laughs> it's like the government slogans, man. We're all in it together, man. Yeah, you, you Edomites are all in it together. Okay, these are your representatives, your leaders, man, and you and you follow them, right? <laughs> so you're gonna be judged accordingly, like them, man, right? Verse twelve. So they all together had innumerable dead with one kind of death. Neither were the living sufficient to bury them. Well, that's that's gonna be a job for you, you uh, heathens, man. When this destruction comes, man, you'll be burying the dead, right? This is uh, for in one moment. The noblest offspring of them was destroyed. You know, babies. Oh yeah, babies are innocent, right? Yeah, they didn't, they didn't nothing done nothing wrong. Okay, the Lord still killed them. Still brought judgment against them. What did they do? Again, like I said, you know, there's a level of understanding there, but you know, you people believe that, you know, children and that are innocent. That's why you believe you're innocent because you don't believe you had nothing to do with what your forefathers did. You're just children. You know, born into this world with, you know, they didn't do nothing wrong. Well, that's not how the most side sees things. All right, that's why you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna pay, right? It says whereas they would not believe anything by reason of the enchantments upon the destruction of the firstborn, they acknowledge this people to be the sons of God, and through this destruction, you're going to acknowledge the same thing again. Okay, that we are the sons of God. Because Yahweh Shai is going to come, save his elect. They're going to be beautified, okay? We're all going to be beautified. We're all going to be changed out of this vile body, this vile state that we're in. Right? You're going to see who the Lord's chosen people are. And it's not who you was expecting. You wasn't expecting it to be us. You didn't want it to be us. Okay? You wanted us to be low liars, dead beats. You, that's what you want. That's what you expect of us, right? And we're out here telling you, man, that we're the sons of God and you guys are the devil. You don't like that. You're thinking that, oh no, we're the righteous, we're the good ones, we're the good guys in this world, blah, 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 blah. Oh God, if God's gonna save anybody, it's gonna be us, because you know we represent God on this earth, blah blah blah. You're full of shit. You don't know shit. You know? 
the people that are going to be delivered ain't, ain't going to be what you was expecting or what you was hoping for. Right? Because the Lord, again, is coming to save his people while he judges their enemies. All right? And you, so-called white people, you Edomites, and the rest of you heathen are our enemies. All right? And that's what I wanted from that. Okay, that's how the most High gets down, man. So don't think you're off the hook. You ain't never been off the hook. All right? This is uh, Sirach chapter 41. Uh, I'm just get the point here. All right, so the children will complain of an ungodly father, right? Because they shall be reproached for his sake, right? And as you can read through this, I think this is going into Israel, man. But you know, we use this for Esau also, man, because it applies. It applies to anyone, right? It applies to all, right? Because end of the day, you know, as they're done wickedly, and now you got the generation that come after all the hardcore slavery, thinking that they got nothing to do with that. You know that, you know, it, it, it bores them that you know their grandfathers had slaves, and oh no, I, I disagree. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, this is what you do. Right, it said, you know, you complain of an ungodly father. Oh, that was my grandfather. Yeah, I detest, I detest what he what he was doing. You know, he was just ignorant. <laughs> oh, whatever. He got excuses, but you know, but they try to separate themselves from the the legacy of their forefathers, man. Like it hasn't had an impact on their level of life, their level of living today. You know, they might not see that they, you know their their life is all that, but hey, your life is a whole lot better than it would have been. If, if your grandfather wasn't doing all the all the slave trading and you know all that shit, you know, had had all this free labor and all that business, you know, you're doing a, lot, a whole lot better, right? You know, you're not, you know, you, even though you're not grateful, <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't see it as 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 much. You're not grateful for what your ancestors did and the level they brought you up on, <laughs> you know. Now you'd rather disassociate yourself from them. Fine, yeah, you could do that, but it doesn't change anything. <laughs> it doesn't change nothing at all, right? So you're approached for his sake. You're approached. You're disgusted, you know? It says, um, children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. All right? So that's what you guys are currently doing. You like to pull the reverse race card. You know, oh, we're racist for bringing up, bringing up slavery and all this business. You got you devil's got a lot of nerve, you know. Is Isaiah 14 and uh 19 said, But thou art cast out like out of thy grave, like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword, they go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evil doers shall never be renowned. Okay, and Esau in the scriptures is known as the wicked. Okay, that's where you, you know you so called white people descend from, right? For the most part, right? So you're the seed of evil doers, right? And you can't you can't deny that you've done a lot of evil on the earth. And you like you know, like again, you like to point fingers, but you know, but these men they did evil too. They did slavery and then, you know, what about them? Well, they're gonna get theirs too. Don't worry about that. Worry about yourself. Worry about what you're going to receive, innit? Like, that's not your nation. Don't worry about them. Worry about your nation. What about you? Right? Pointing fingers over that fucking time. Okay, what did you do? Right? You're, you know? Worry, worry about what you did, right? You can't deny that you've done a lot, whole lot of evil on the earth, right? So, you are that evil seed. You are the, those evil doers, right? More, than, more, more so than any other nation. Right? Let's just say it like this, right? It says, um, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Whose children? Esau's children. Your granddaddy's children. You. Your son. Your children. You know what I mean? Your children's children. Your children's children's children. Right? Because the Lord is coming for all of you, man. The Lord's coming for the whole nation. Whoever's here, left standing, he's going to get it. You know, and like I said, you know, these, a lot of these men are back here today. Right? Awaiting their judgment. Alright. 
So thou shalt be uh, prepared slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, for the wickedness and evil of their fathers, right? That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, right? Your, your turn, your time for rulership is done. Okay, you ain't, you're being taken out of power, you know, you're being trodden down low, you're going to be put un under our feet. Like the scripture say, uh, our enemies shall be made a, a footstool. Yahweh Shai's enemies will be made his footstool, man. All right, you're going to be under our feet. All right, you ain't going to rule ever again. You know? It says, For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord and of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and the son and nephew, saith the Lord. The Lord's going to cut all you off. <laughs> there ain't going to be no remnant. Pursuing to Obadiah 1 and 16. You know, was it one and eighteen? <laughs> it's like, yeah. right? Let me just grab that because I don't like the fact that I <laughs> couldn't remember the last number. <laughs> is it nineteen? Yeah, one and eighteen. Right? So I'm gonna read this. Over there, one and eighteen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and the, and devour them, and they shall not. Shall not be any remaining remnant remaining same thing, right? Of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. All right, that that is your judgment, right? And you can't say you don't deserve it, right? You you've met all the criteria, you know, to receive this judgment. The Lord's made it, you know, put it out very clear. Okay, so you are deserving of this judgment. All right. Uh, actually, what do I want for? This is from Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 4. It's not from 3, you know, if you know the beginning of this, right? But um, and this is speaking about the wicked, these Edomites, right? It says, And they repenting and groaning for anguish or spirit shall say within themselves, This was he who we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. All right, and you still have us in in a, in a power of reproach. You still look down upon us, man. Yeah, you ain't you ain't got no slaves. Yeah, you ain't whipping us no more. No, oh, some of you are not even saying the word nigger anymore. You know, so damn what? You still racist as hell. You still think you're superior to us. You still think you're better than us. You still think we're just low lives. <laughs> you know, we're meant to be your rulers, man. You're meant to be showing us respect, and you don't. So, yeah, however you want to slice this, man, you ain't, act, you ain't, you're out of order. You're out of order, right? And you're going to get put in order, right? And they repenting and groaning for anguish or spirit shall say with themselves, because you, your destruction is coming. Okay, you're seeing your destruction coming. You know you're about, you're about to get judged the hell out of, right? And you're going to be in anguish, right? And they should say within themselves, this was he, talking about the Israelites, these people you don't uh, believe nothing, we, know, we don't amount to nothing. You know, it says, um, we are sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach spoke bad about us, right? It says, We fools, you're gonna realize that you're you're the fools, right? In this time, right? We fools are carrying his life madness and his end to be without honor, you know, because we just we're just whatever, right? We're, we're inferior, uh, stupid, and violent, and, and this and that, but you know, well, you're the real violent ones, right? It says, how is he numbered among the children of God and his lot among the saints? Like, it, it, the result ain't going to be what you expected. You, you don't expect it to be men like us being delivered out of the judgment, being glorified, being changed, being beamed up into the sky. While you devils, you Edomites, you know, you believe you're all righteous and shit, you're, getting, you're being left there to be destroyed because you're hypocrites. And you don't know the Most High. You don't know the Word. You don't know His Word. That's why you're a fool. Right? So therefore we have erred from the way of truth. Didn't know it. You didn't know the truth. Right? And the light of righteousness have not shined up unto us. Because the Lord don't want you. <laughs> the Lord hate you. He don't want you. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness. You're going to realize that. Wow. We was on this wicked path this whole time. We are those Edomites that they were, you know, the men of the Lord, the, the prophets are out there speaking about. We are those men or those people. We are that nation. The Lord does hate us. Right? We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts and they lay no way. 
But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What have pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our voting brought us? All those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post they hasted by. Okay, and that is that is the judgment. It's, it's, it's a repeat. The same kind of thing that went on in Egypt is what's going to happen in this modern day Egypt. This spiritual Egypt that we're living in. Okay, in Esau's kingdom. Okay, it's going to get brought down. Israel is going to be delivered and the enemy is going to be destroyed. And, you know, you, you, the enemies, the heathen, they're going to be hurt. You know, and they're going to understand that these are God's children. We fucked up. We shouldn't have done what we did. You're going to have all these regrets, you know, all these regrets in your mind. You know, but it's too late. Right. And then right now, let's say you're trying to ignore or deflect the judgment like it don't apply to you. You know, you don't want to accept the Edomites. You don't want to accept that you should be punished based on, you know, the crimes of your fathers and all this kind of stuff. You know, you, you think that, you know, you, you got a clean slate. You don't have a clean slate. You didn't start from, with a clean slate. Right? You started with a dirty slate. You know? <laughs> you didn't have a clean slate to start with. Right? But you think this judgment shouldn't come upon you, man. But <laughs> this is not how, the, you know, we're reading it, man. This is not how the most side, you know, sees things. All right? Um, did I read this? I ain't read this yet. It says, uh, for her sin, sorry, uh, Revelation chapter uh, chapter 18, verse 5. And for her sins, for her, for her sins have reached unto heaven. Okay, and God have remembered her iniquities. Talking about the land of America, Babylon, the whore, the harlot. Okay, Babylon the Great. To reward her as she rewarded you. Now, there's a lot of evidence and a lot of history of the things you've done to us, right? And when we tell you, man, you're going into slavery and we're going to be beating the hell out of you, that, that's just the, 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 the least part of it, <laughs> right? That's, that's, you know, you're going to get it worse and you're going to get it longer, right? You're going to be in a hardcore slavery for a thousand years, that's for one. And, you know, you're dealing with guys with, with us, speaking about us now, guys with power, like godly power and the things that we can do to you i mean i saw like i saw like hell i got so much things to show you <laughs> all right we've been you know meditating terror man you know you're gonna get it bad isn't it and is this is all according to what's written it says reward her as she rewarded you well we like i said all the shit that you've been doing to us that's what you're gonna receive you're gonna re reap what you sow and double unto her okay you're gonna get it worse double Right, unto her double according to her works in the cup which she had filled in filled the cup which she had filled filled to her double. You're gonna get a double portion of that judgment, man. <laughs> you know? Of all, of all that anger and hate that you've uh, you know had against us, man. You're gonna receive all of it double. You're gonna find out <laughs> how, how how evil evil can, can get. <laughs> for you Edomites, man, you thought what you put us back, uh, put, you, put us through was bad. You're gonna go through a lot worse, man. I promise you. All right, and this is why you know you, you Edomites are right, man. You should be <laughs> right, but you can't say you know you don't deserve it or you wasn't warned. You read the scriptures, right? You should have known better. All right. So we're gonna end it with this Jeremiah 49 verse 12. All right. So you know, like we're saying, there's no way around this. Okay, you you will be getting judgment whether you think you're responsible or not. Okay, if you're if you're a heathen, if you're a heathen, you know, yeah, you you know it's gonna be bad for you. But hey, no one no one is bad if you're an Edomite. That's that that's the worst, you know. But if you're an Edomite now, yeah, you ain't got nothing to look forward to, man. You know that's that's just the truth, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, this is Jeremiah forty nine verse twelve. It says, "For thus saith the Lord." Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. Okay, and this is speaking about Israel. We wasn't we weren't to be God's holy people, man. We were meant to be the blessed people of the Lord, right? Rulers of the earth and, and all this kind of stuff. It wasn't really meant for us to receive the Lord's wrath. Right? But we we, we did. We we transgressed, we sinned against the Lord, and the Lord had to jack us up, man, teach us a lesson. Right? And that's what he did to his own sons. Who he cares about, who he loves. Jacob have I loved, right? 
he actually loves us, man. You know, he brought some heavy chastisement upon us, man. He, he loves us, man. It's, it's, it's chastening, it's rebuke. All right? Now, the other nations, no, he don't care about, he don't love them. They're just simply other creations, you know? He didn't set his love upon them, right? So, if he had done, if he'd done that to his own children, what do you think he's going to do to those that he doesn't really hold, hold in high esteem? Right, and this is what it says, right? It says, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. They def they drank. We, we, we're testimony of that right now, being in, the fact that we're in, in that enemy's lands, uh, serving our enemies. All right? And all the slavery that we went through, all the, you know, all the jacking up that, you know, has happened to us, right? So, Art thou, he that shall alto go, alto, altogether go unpunished? You think you, other nations are going to go unpunished? You, you you think you're going to get a better A more favourable treatment Than his children No, you're going to get a worse treatment Than what he even did to His own children Right, you're going to get worse Okay, you're not going to get away with it Otherwise, he, otherwise we would have got away with it If anybody would have got away with anything It would have been his children The children of Israel But no, we didn't get away with anything, man We, we got punished Right, so you know other nations are going to get punished Right I doubt he that shall altogether go unpunished Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. You're going to drink this cup, man, whether you want to or not. And all you Edomites, all you heathen, I'm implicated, man, as nations, as whole nations. Now, not all of you are going to die when the judgment comes. Some of you, the ones that survive are going to get put into chains, man. You know, you're going to be preserved for that reason to do work. Right? But a lot of you are going to die. A lot of you are going to be sentenced to death by the Heavenly Father in His judgment. Right? And those that survived that destruction, that's not a salvation. That's not a, the Lord having mercy upon you, man, because you're going straight into slavery, man. Probably would have been better to die in the judgment, you know, than be preserved to serve slavery, man, because once, you, once you're in our hands, hey, we're going to have all power over you, man. We're going to have all power over you. Right? And, you know, we've been looking forward to our revenge for a long time. Okay, for our justice. So we're going to make sure we, we capitalize on all of that. All right? So it ain't going to be pleasant for you, man. All right? But anyway, with that, I'm going to end the video. And Lord Witness is edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next one, man. So till next time, I say Shalom.